Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Som Jit. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook spicy Kram Hyung Lala clams. For the ingredients, I have 700 grams of large Lala clams, wash and clean, 3 tablespoons of shallot chop, 3 tablespoons of garlic oil, 4 to 5 stems of curry leaves, 1 tablespoon of curry powder. Today, I'm using the watch brand curry powder. And this is what it looks like. 2 tablespoons of chopped garlic, half tablespoon of thick soy sauce, half tablespoon of light soy sauce, one red bird eye chili, slice, half teaspoon of coarse black pepper, half teaspoon sesame oil, one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of dry prawn, soak and chop, and six tablespoons of water. Ingredients are all ready. We are going to start off with cooking the Gam Hyung sauce. Heat the pan to the medium heat. Put in 1.5 tablespoon of cooking oil. When the oil is getting hot, put in all dry prawns. Give it a stir and fry it for about 45 seconds. Switch off the heat and use the strainer to scoop out dry prawns from the pan. Now we have some oil left in the pan. Switch on the heat again and we are going to use this oil to cook the Gam Hyung sauce. Add in the garlic and fry until fragrant. When garlic is a bit soft, add in chopped shallots. And continue to cook for about 30 seconds. Add in the rest of the ingredients. Cut bird eye chili, sesame oil, light soy sauce, coarse black pepper, curry powder, sugar, and thick soy sauce. Give it a mix until well combined. Add in two stems of curry leaves and give it a mix until fragrant. At this stage, the gravy will be quite thick. Add in 4 tablespoons of water first for now. Give it a stir. This smells really good. Now we are adding in the fried dry prawns. Give it a stir. Once dry prawns are added, the sauce will become thicker. It is really aromatic right now. So we are adding in two more tablespoons of water. And give it a stir for about 30 seconds. Now I can give it a taste. Wow, very delicious. So I'm going to switch off the heat. If you prefer to add in more seasonings, you can add them now. As this is good already, I'm removing it from the pan and put it aside. In the same pan, Switch on the heat, put in the lala clams, add 2 stems of curry leaves and give it a stir. Although the pan is a bit dry, do not add water as lala clams will release some water once it's cooked. Continue to cook until all the lala clams are opened up. This amount of lala clams 
should take around 2 minutes until it is cooked for all. Now the lala clam have opened up. They are cooked and there is some gravy like this. We will remove this gravy from the pan. Switch off the heat first before carrying the pan away from the stove. Drain the liquid through the strainer as we only want the lala clam. Now put the pan back onto the stove and switch on the heat. Put the lala clams back into the pan. Add in the gam hyang sauce that we have prepared just now. Give it a mix over the heat until the lala clams and gam hyang sauce are well combined. Make sure that the gam hyang sauce is well spread over the cooked lala clams. Once the lala clams and the sauce are well combined, like this, we can switch off the heat. This is best served immediately once it is cooked. Let's eat! Wow, super delicious. The lala clam is fresh and chewy. The gam hyang sauce is tasty and flavorful. The dry prawns are fragrant and there is a little spicy from the chili. Lovely. Thank you for watching. If you like this gam hyang lala clams recipe, please share it. And subscribe for more home cooked recipe like this. Thank you and bye-bye.